Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to create a Figma to Android Studio project uh, using this design here. And we're going to optimize a few things to ensure that it loads correctly on Android. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates to new and upcoming videos. So let's get started. Now, there are a couple of things with this design that we have to keep in mind. Uh, the first thing is fonts. Now, you are allowed to use Google Fonts with Android. Google has updated, I believe, uh, Google Fonts with uh, their Play services. Uh, so if you know how to load them, and we will include a link on the website, then you can, in essence, have any Google Font. But for, I guess, uh, safety reasons, we're going to actually change this to Arial. Now what this will do is ensure that the fonts uh, load correctly. So let's just actually go ahead and change everything to Arial. Okay, so once all our font is changed, uh, the next important thing that we have to keep in mind is the size of the design. Now you'll see here the width is 14, 414, and you might have various designs with various sizes. Unfortunately, Android is very specific and you must target a screen based on the actual DP. Now I'm not gonna go over DP to pixel translations, uh, but what I do know is that in essence, we're gonna need to have 385 as our base design. And I cover this in other videos as well as there is information on the website regarding this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we can easily, uh, in essence, manipulate our frames so that they can be the right size that we're looking for. So what we're going to need to do is select all the content in our frame. Once this is all selected, we're going to need to change the constraints to center. And once this is centered, we can easily change the width to our desired size, which is 385. So we're going to, in essence, copy this logic for all frames. Now this is very important with this design and this goes for uh, any export. You'll note that in the design, although all the images uh, and the information as well as text and shape, it's all graphically uh, within the area that we expect. Now, this is very important because sometimes what you see is not what you really get because you'll note that this vector is outside of our frame, which is very important. We do not want anything outside of the frame, otherwise it will export uh, basically with errors in the output. So let's go ahead and let's change that. Oh, I can see another one. Now it doesn't matter where you put it in the layer list, it just has to actually be included within the frame itself. Uh, let's see what this is. This is 16. So let's continue. Okay, so now that we have all our content uh, constrained correctly by centering, what we can do is resize as many frames as possible. So let's just select all the frames. Okay, so once we have the correct uh, frame size that we're looking for, we can simply load the plugin. And let's switch this to Android Studio. Now we want to select the canvas because we want our entire project. And away we go. What we can do is just extract the files. Now, unfortunately, with Figma, there is a little bit of a naming convention error. And we're going to fix this in the next update. Uh, but in essence, you will need to grab your Java and your res along with your manifest. So what you can do is just drag. Well, actually, just drag all the files into the folder. And you're going to need to copy everything. Uh, you don't need the readme, but you can copy it if you need to. Let's start a new project in Android. Let's call it my or food app. Target, no activity because we're going to add our activities. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our app, to our source, and to our main. And we're going to want to copy our files over and simply replace the files in the destination. Now once this is done, you can either rebuild or wait for Android to build. Now you notice that we have an error where it cannot find a particular class and this is very important for android and also an easy fix so let's just go and take a look at the fix now the reason is all our screens are actually just simply named iphone 11 pro max you sh really should name your activities otherwise you will run into this error constantly so let's just go for the first uh, let's call this uh, home screen And let's actually name the project home screen when we're exporting. So we're going to extract all our files. 
We're going to copy the manifest and the readme into the folder. Again, we're going to fix that in uh, another update that it'll actually just render the entire folder for you. Let's create a new Android application. So while it builds, let's navigate to our source. Let's copy our files over. Let's rebuild the project. Now you'll notice that everything loaded correctly. Now the reason why we had the error before was because we didn't define a main layout and you need this for Android. And you'll note with our activities because everything is named iPhone Pro Max, uh, it's not really that, I guess, intuitive you could say. So let's give it a preview. Now when you see missing elements and images, you just have to wait for it to build. Let's just take a look at our values to ensure they're loaded correctly. Now you see you get all your colors and your strings. I can see errors here. Uh, you really should name your layers. Otherwise, this is what you'll end up with. And you can see that now everything loaded as we expected and it fits exactly as our design entailed. Now, I did say that Android uses very specific sizing. This is why we measured it uh, so that it will actually fit on this device. Let's just, in essence, QA a couple screens. Now again, images, you can simply rebuild uh, or actually re-ensure that they are exported. This looks like there are some naming conventions that are missing. Uh, there's probably a lot of layers with similar names. Uh, we took a look at our values. Let's take a look at our drawables. So you can see here it created all the shapes that we require as well as all the images and uh, the vectors that are necessary. Now the problem is I can already tell that there are a lot of layers with the same name and you really should name your layers accordingly otherwise you will run into these errors. Uh, now the plugin itself it does its best to in essence rename uh, content to ensure they're unique but it's not perfect so you really should name your layers accordingly otherwise you will run into this where when you're loading your project some images will be gray and missing uh, simply because there are other images with that name and it got confused a bit.